everyone, this is Catherine and I am back with a hair tutorial. A few weeks ago this girl in my English class asked me how I curl my hair that day and um, I tried explaining it to her but I think a video that shows you really visually how I do it would be more helpful so this, is, this video is for you and for everyone else out there who have trouble curling their hair. Um, I'm going to give you really detailed instructions so hopefully you can achieve similar or better results. The iron that I'm going to use is by Bedhead. It's, um, it's pretty good. It was about, what, $20, $30. It's good quality. I like their products. I actually haven't tried too many hair curling irons, so I can't really say, but I am satisfied. So 3 quarter inch is the diameter of the iron, of course. Um, it comes in 3 quarter inch, half an inch, which is really small curls, and the 1 inch, which is a little bigger. I like these two the best. I know I have two. So is that a little crazy? This is for, I, I would say, looser curls. It's best on longer hair, and this is for a little more defined curls, and I think um, it's best for hair if you have hair like this length, not too long. I'm also using a couple of products. I use this hairspray, volume hairspray by Pantene, and this hairspray, what I do is I flip my hair over, and I spray it, and then I hold it for 10 seconds, and I flip it back up, so there's a little more volume that can stay in. I am not going to do that in in uh, in my video because I'm actually filming this video inside my bedroom right now. I can't film it in the washroom because I don't want to take up the washroom for like an hour. My parents are going to think I'm crazy for talking to myself in the washroom or filming myself in the washroom. Like what, what is she doing, right? The other product I'm going to use is called um, the Heat Protection and Shine. I'll zoom in so you can see what it is. And so you spray it, spray the section, and then you curl it just so that you protect your hair from getting um, really damaged by the iron. I also wouldn't suggest curling your hair more than like once or twice a week because it does damage your hair, especially at the ends, and it will fry it. So I hardly ever curl my hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, and if you have any questions, please comment, rate, subscribe. First of all, make sure that your hair is completely 100% dry, but a little bit of hair product is okay. Divide your hair into two sections, first left and right. Then tie up one of the sections. On the other side, brush up the top half of your hair, and then clip it with a bobby pin or a hair clip. Pull out a piece of hair about this thick, you can vary it a bit, but if it's too thick, then the curls will be very undefined, and if it's too thin, then the hair will slip out. When I'm curling my hair, do you see how the clamp is facing the outside? So if I was facing the mirror, the clamp would be also facing the mirror, and not behind my hair. Roll up your hair slowly, making sure that it spreads throughout the length of the iron, and not conjugating around one little area. Do you see how the very end of my hair piece doesn't touch the iron and doesn't get curled? I'll go back and curl the very end later. same thing on the other side of your hair and making sure that the clamp is facing the outside. And you're done! After a few hours, my curls do tend to loosen up a bit and look a lot more softer and more natural. 